All right, it is almost 6.15 this Sunday morning. We're taking a live look right now over Moosehead Lake. Something funny, Chloe? No. <laughs> I'm just learning things about you in this break. I don't know. Uh, I mean... Misunderstandings. That's... I, it's... Voting and Bowden sound very similar, so... They do. And I talk very fast. You do. So, so. we're talking about misunderstandings <laughs> of things I say, because... It's early I mean, today. Yeah, we're still. I'm what, still time? waking up. Six. There's a clock right there. Yeah. What, what? <laughs> no, I just set Let's the just time. Just the weather, too, you guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> Current temperatures outside this morning are a lot. Well, they're not that bad right now. Let's start off there. They're a little bit cooler than yesterday. This is not terrible for this time of the morning. The problem today is that these are not going to go up quite as much as they did yesterday. A lot of us got to around 50 degrees for your high temperatures for your Saturday. Not quite the same story today. We're going to see them only creeping up a little bit more here as we go through your day. And the other issue is that these temperatures don't feel like the low 30s or the 20s. These are going to feel like we're in the teens and low 20s for a lot of your day today. They even do right now because of the winds. Currently outside right now, a lot of the state is still a bit more calm. If we look over in the eastern half of the state, Portland and Sanford and Lewiston, even Portsmouth as well, a bit more breezy at this point in time. And winds are going to pick up for everybody a bit more as we go through your day here today. And that's going to, like I said, take those temperatures and lower them like 10, 15 degrees at times. So it is going to feel quite a bit colder than yesterday. You'll notice it quite a bit more. Those wind gusts as we go through your day, like I said, will pick up this afternoon, getting to around 35 miles an hour for gust speeds. Is that anything majorly problematic? No, but it is enough that you are going to notice it if you step outside. You're going to want a jacket that can stand up to a little bit of wind if you want to go on a walk or anything today because it is going to be a bit breezier and a bit colder because of that as well. Now, the other thing that we're noticing as we go through your day here today is going to be a little bit of snow. Now, this is, again, nothing to worry about too much. It is March. It is Maine. Technically still winter. Today's the last day of winter for 2023. But even with that, we're seeing some snow showers that have moved across the state. And as they have, it's brought snow to mainly inland. We're not really expecting too, too much along the coastline through your day today. So I really wouldn't worry about that. It's more so going to stay a bit further inland. But I mean, even with this, as we look at this, it's not looking too, too dramatic here as you move through it. Not really problematic for the most part. Less than an inch expected for everybody. And like I said, the coastline really not expecting any snow at all. So I wouldn't worry about it too, too much for your day. But be aware, sometimes when you have the breezy winds with the snow, it could lower your visibility a little bit here as you go through your day. Otherwise, we're going to see some sun and some clouds today. It's a little combo of the two. And as we go into your day tomorrow, we'll actually start to see the sun coming right back out. So it will be a pretty nice day as we go into your Monday and Tuesday. Not looking too shabby either. Wednesday really is pretty good as well. Now, the thing is, high temperatures, like I said, are going to be a bit colder today, but if you want the warm, good news, spring's really coming in tomorrow. We're going to have high temperatures staying above average here for the next week. So instead of more wintry temperatures, we had to get one day in before the deadline. We're seeing temperatures that are going to be a little bit warmer in the mid to upper 40s, even low 50s on Friday. So going to be pretty nice as we get through to that point in time. Marine forecast, these are at four to seven feet. Gale warning in effect here starting in a couple hours. So be aware of that as you go through your day because it will be a bit breezy out there. But like I said, spring starts tomorrow. Those high temperatures are nice. Sunshine for the next couple of days here. Well, some clouds moving back into our forecast for your day on Wednesday. They'll build in that day. And then from there, we have a couple chances for some rain or snow showers. For the most part, not looking too dramatic. We're watching something on Saturday, but it's kind of all over the board when you look at the models. So that can move around quite a bit more, but we'll get there. We're still a week out. Same general story along the coast, just not really expecting any snowflakes for that system moving through on Thursday. More so just looking like some rain, but a lot of that rain's not going to be really problematically heavy or anything. So right. it not looks too like shabby. spring, kind of, you know, it's, that's it, good. April showers, spring May flowers, even though we still have a little bit left of March. I know, I was going to say, wait, what month is it? I, yeah. <laughs> Chloe's like, I have no clue, I don't care I don't anymore. Know anymore.